Well, hello there, it's Cream and welcome to another speed build. So today we're building a Salva Dorada build. Um, it's a villa, it has three bedrooms and as you can see I am doing the exterior first and I took screenshots every seven minutes from the same angle because I had no idea what I was doing and this took forever. So I am so proud how this turned out. I built it before um, island living. I built it, I think, in May, like end of May, if I'm not completely mistaken. Yep, 22 of May. And I don't know, I just didn't post it because I had other builds planned at the time. And yeah, then island living came and <laughs> I became an island living channel. So I wanted to take a step back and like a break from all the island living stuff so I was like you know what this has a summary feel and I really love it like I'm so happy with how it turned out so you know what let's post this one <coughs> excuse me so something that I'm not good at like I'm terrible at is um, like Spanish builds I don't have the experience to do them I don't know the culture well enough so it's something really out of my comfort zone, but I'm happy with how this turned out. Also, can we notice the makeshift, um, how are they called, launch stairs or pull stairs? Like, I was taking screenshots and I'm not sure if you will see it even in the screenshots. But after I was done, or like I was taking screenshots, I was like, oh my god, I cannot change the lawn stairs. So I went ahead and changed those to the island living ones. And I was so excited. I'm like, I can finally <laughs> use the lawn stairs properly, which got me so excited. So this build is inspired a lot by um, an actual like house. I don't, I don't think that I've kept the original house. Otherwise, I would put a link somewhere. But they had this building fireplace to the wall. And this is something we don't have in The Sims. So I was like, I like it. I really do like it, how it looks like. Because I don't. it's not necessarily like a fireplace, this particular one. It could be used, you know, for marshmallow toasting and stuff like that. So I took so long trying to make it look like it is inside the wall and then covering it with flowers and you will see essentially you don't have a wall there because um, I couldn't uh, essentially create the gap of where the fireplace is and I deleted the wall and filled it up with flowers and I loved it so much it was like I'm so proud of it it took me ages but I'm so proud of it uh, so here we are with the kitchen and <laughs> again I I'm not good with Spanish builds or like Mediterranean builds I don't know what I'm doing and I don't think that I'm good at creating the interior and giving it a Spanish feel however throughout the years I think that I've gotten better so it's not perfect it's definitely not perfect but like only practice makes you perfect or like at least better so like bear with me while you're seeing something that tries to resemble oh my god excuse me tries to resemble a spanish build but it's not really one um but yeah just i really liked it i had so much fun building it and decorating it i remember that i did it in a day uh i had as i told you like i had other plans other builds planned but i just felt like doing something spanish you know and i was looking like at the builds and was like what do i want to do and because at the time i was building so much on oasis springs and i did so many um mid-century builds there i was like i really want to do more on oasis springs but i i'm doing nothing else but building there so it's like Hmm, here's a workaround. Let's build on Savo Dorada. <laughs> like it's still like those uh, Spanish builds and Spanish vibe and tropical. It doesn't have springs, doesn't have a tropical vibe. But you know, that similar uh, build style as springs has. I'm like, that's a great workaround. I can make it work. So I had so much fun doing it. And as you can see here, we have this massive 
um, hallways. I was like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? And I thought adding a bathroom would be great. I had trouble figuring out the layout of the house because I wanted to fit more than one bedroom and I still wanted them to feel homey. Uh, so we had this, we ended up with this huge walk away or I guess hallway. I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do here, you know? And then I was like, you know what, it makes sense. Uh, we're in Salvadorada and if you don't go just for vacation here, which I don't really tend to take my sims for vacation, to be completely honest, I just forget it and I don't really care it. Um, I think I would personally go to, you know, explore and do the whole archaeologist career. So to me, it made sense to have the archaeologist table there. And here I am trying <laughs> to make a cool console wall or whatnot for the TV. And the space is so weird, honestly. I wanted again a nice big living room that could feed everyone who lived in the house. Inside we have three bedrooms. Two of them have two, a double bed, essentially. And the other ones have two single beds. So it's essentially six sims. And they can't really fit in the living room. Like it's for five, but it works. I couldn't make it any bigger because you can see we have the space in the back and we have the doors there. So it's like I had that awkward space and I was like, what am I supposed to do with it? And yeah, I had so much trouble with the layout. I really... I'm still not pleased with the layout, but I think it somehow kinda works. Kinda works. Uh, because of the nature of the bee. Like, if it was a modern one, it definitely wouldn't work. However, because it is like a Spanish one and it's supposed to be a rental, I think it's okay. So, what else? Yeah, the three bedrooms have only one bathroom, which I hate. I couldn't fit another one. I was thinking, should I um take time and like remove a room to add more bathrooms and like have two rooms two bathrooms or like three rooms one bathroom and i was like you know what whatever <laughs> let's just go with three bedrooms um and as you can see i added some uh how are they called not columns mm, i don't recall anyways those things are on top of the build build uh the fences, how are they called? Spandrels, spandrels. I added spandrels because like, I like the wooden beam effect that they give and I think really matches the style of the house. So this is essentially the master bathroom, bathroom, bedroom if you will. Like it has the most fancy, I guess, furniture. The other two are more like downscaled. But usually when you rent a house, you don't necessarily rent a house that's like one bedroom and you may be a couple or you might end up renting a bigger house because like it has more amenities it's more like spacious and whatnot so you may end up having extra bedrooms so it's like i really wanted to have this nice big bedroom here that had a nice feel and the other two are like more simple way more simple however I have to say, like, if you go, like, as couples, you know, two couples and their kids, I feel like whoever lives in this room is really <laughs> unfortunate, like, comparison to the other room, because as you can see, we had tons of windows, and I couldn't obviously put the, um, how is it called? the bed in front of the windows because theoretically those open and they open from the inside right so it makes sense for you to be able to access those uh so i ended up having this weird space i was like what the hell am i supposed to do as you can see again i was about to add a dresser and was like yeah that doesn't make sense you need to access them and this particular like clothes rack it has wheel so you can move it also obviously like you can easily move like one of the chairs and do what you need to do there so yeah again it's more old looking but i like it it has a rustic feel and here is the bedroom with the two single beds you will see it's very simple it doesn't have much going on um and 
and I also want to mention that I playtested it and originally as the setup looks like the second bed wasn't really um, reachable so I had to slightly push in the outer bed to make the second one be usable but I think it works, it still works, like it doesn't look like shit essentially. So yeah, also something else that doesn't work that I should probably mention is the fireplace. I mentioned that there is a fireplace outside that I covered with, um, how are they called? Flowers? Uh, but it doesn't work. You cannot reach it. I don't know why. Maybe it's the chairs, but you cannot reach it. However, I still like the effect. I was like, I don't really care. <laughs> so here is the bathroom. And because we have those big windows, I obviously couldn't um, add a shower there. Of course, now I could have added the new shower that we got with Island Living. However, I really like how the bathroom turned out. So I was like, I don't really want to do that. Uh, so you have a bathtub for three bedrooms or essentially six sims, which isn't very functional. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Like, I like the bathroom. It's really tiny, but I think it's so cute and I'm really in love with it. So yeah, what else am I doing? I don't recall. <laughs> it's been so long since I did that. I don't recall. Do we go outside? Oh yeah, this area. So the original build that I took inspiration from had this sitting area, I wanna say, but it was like, I don't really want another sitting area. Like you have one that's outside um, with a fireplace. You have another one with a fake fireplace. You have one inside, you have the chairs. So I decided to make it as a play area, if you will. And I added the Jenga thing, don't wake up the llama, I think it's called. So I'm happy with that. And here are the screens. So yeah, as you can see, I did not change the uh, Lancers to the Pulsars, however you want to call them, with the Salvador, yeah, the Island Living ones. But yeah, on the build that's on the gallery, which fun fact, this particular lot has a terrible, terrible, um, how is it called? Uh, thumbnail on the gallery, I'm like, Really? Really? Like, it's on the side. What's the point of that? I was so mad when I saw it, like, mm, but whatever. I made it work, whatever. So yes, yeah, per usual, if you want to download it, there is a link in the description or you can find it on my gallery, which my username is the exact same as here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you have an amazing day and take care. Bye! Thank you.